to y'all. You have a good one. Yes, I had a real good one. That's all that matters. I got to see another one, so I'm, it was real good. <laughs> it's always good when you see another one, buddy. Yes, it. it is. Well, you do your thing, and then we'll get started. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Samstown Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor ordeal. Minor ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five world grand championships, one world grand championship, and the reserve world grand championship as well. Minor ordeal, a major win here in the two year old division, our world grand champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, minor ordeal. 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So you want to help homeless pets give to local shelters learn more at humanewatch.org more of what a horse coming up well jerry we're we got through christmas now yep. we're waiting on new year's and i believe after the first of the year is when uh we will be hearing back from the USDA, and everybody knows we're wanting to file a lawsuit. But there's a lot of there's a lot of hurdles. Yes. In order to do it, number one, you got to have a plaintiff. And uh, I don't know if if I was facing tickets, the way the government was handing them out, because you got to realize they gave out tickets that were not HPA violations, just to tag horses. Yes. And uh, I think Frank Eichler did a tremendous job of pointing out exactly how they used non-HPA violations against us. And uh, to me, you're, you're fixing to get a free attorney. Yeah, you're right. Because uh, the attorney is going to be fighting for that person, whoever it turns out to be, and the entire industry. If I, if I had several violations, I'd be hollering, pick me, pick me. Because one thing everybody needs to understand, if the USDA gets their way 
and you can take what I'm saying to the bank, there will be no horse shows. There will be people say, well, there'll still be the flat shot. There will be country pleasure yeah. or country boy well, shows. shows. Mm -hmm. But as far as shows like we're used to, no heavy uh, shoes, shoes. Yeah. no mm -hmm. bands, no action device, no pads, no nothing. And I mean, that is like taking a logger and telling him, well, we're fixing to take your your spikes that they climb a tree with and your boots. And your chainsaw. And your chainsaw and your socks. And you're going to have to do all this on a pair of flip-flops with your kitchen knife. That's right. And uh, that's where we're headed. So everybody needs to be thinking. You need to think about it and get behind this or whatever because, I mean, it's, it's a bad deal when you get to thinking about it. Well, it, it is. We, we do good selling trail horses, you know, to people, especially out west, California, Wyoming, Montana. But the walking horse, Jerry, I've been going to walking horse shows since 1958. I was 10 years old. I saw my first walking horse, and I fell in love. I've helped at barns. I've mucked stalled. I've helped Jim Alexander shoe. I've broke coats. I've done a little bit of everything in the walking horse industry. And I hate, I hate to see it go away because people won't face facts. Yes, you And that's right. what we're talking about, facing facts. This no. walking horse, I mean, this this walking horse have done a lot for my life, and I tell a lot of people this. You know, if it wasn't for this walking horse, I wouldn't be had to do half the things I got to do in my lifetime, because I was a working class family, you know, yeah. and got to go a different place. And I raised my family doing that, and I raised my kids, I raised my my grandkids and stuff like that. And I mean, this horse mean the world to me, well, and to a lot of people. Jerry, eighty five percent of the walking horse industry is made up of people like you. That's right. And and that's a lot a lot of people don't understand that. This is the livelihood. It's a hobby for a lot of people. So, hey, they take this hobby, I'll go to another. Yeah. Big deal. And we've had people leave the industry and go to something else. But for some people, this is what they've done all their life. And now you're looking at it and everybody wants to look at it different. And there's no difference. There is a line drawn in the sand. No show, showing. Those are the only two. Yes. There's nothing else. If they take the beds, they take the bands, they take the heavy shoes, you're done. Simple. You're done. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. So the only thing you can do is this lawsuit gives us a chance to stay alive. And the people that have been targeted are the ones that, that need to stand up and say, well, hey, they've targeted me a bunch of stuff. They give me every kind of violation there is. And a lot of them, not even HPA violations, but they did just keep me from showing. This is what we need to fight with. So, well, the only thing I can say is all the trainers out there, you know who you are. Uh, you can even fight for your future, or you can say, well, no, I'm going to sit back here in the back, and I'll let someone else fight it, and then nobody else will show up to fight yes. it. Yes. And you'll be wondering, well, how am I going to sell a padded performance horse out in the world today? Well, how are you going to make a living? Because yeah. you take a lot of them that have been doing this all their life, and they, when you get past that 40 state, that 40... Miles, I mean, what else can you do? I mean, you can't keep up with the young people at a factory you or whatever. And I mean, it's, it's hard. Well, a bunch of people, they, they would never make it in a factory. You know, I mean, especially that's all you ever done all your life is fool with these horses a, and yeah. stuff like that. I mean, you're at that stage where you, <coughs> you're too young to keep up with, you're too old, you're too young mm -hmm. to work at a factory. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a shame. I mean, it really is a shame that everybody can't just sit down and say, hey, Let's do this. Let's get it done. Let's defend our industry. We know we got the proof. Frank Eichler showed 61 pages of corruption by the, Humane, the 
HPA, the USDA on the HPA. And I was right, the Humane Society had a lot to do with it. But sooner or later, you've got to fight. If I'd have laid down back when Clint C. come at me, all I had to do was say, yeah, everything he says is true. That's it. It wouldn't have cost me a dime. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. I mean, and, hey, I'm just saying that's me. I'm going to fight for what I know is right. Question is, how many people in this industry are willing to stand up and fight for their livelihood? And that that's, a, I mean, it's no if, ands, or buts. You either going to stand up and fight or are you going to give up and you're going to be hunting something else to do? Yeah, you're right. All right, I promised a gentleman up in East Tennessee that we would show a video of a horse in a three-year-old class at the Classic that uh, he thought was mighty good. I'm going to have to agree with him. I thought he was mighty good, too. It was Classic Rock. And Little Weaver is the one that was riding yes. And matter of fact, you talked about but, that horse. Uh -huh. You made some statements about how good that horse looked. And I have to agree, I thought you looked mighty good myself. This was a real good class. That was now. a real good class. I think they ended up putting that horse. Yeah, that's, I mean, I'm going to tell you, that's a real good horse right there. I thought so, too. He's a real good horse. He was in there with some good horses. He was in there with some good horses uh, in there, he, but I mean, but. He looked awfully good. You talking about a horse that got looked over. I mean, that horse is, he's doing everything you want a horse to do. He walk and shake you know, real smooth and fluent with what you're doing. And you know, that's the biggest thing with me. And I, you know, <coughs> I think is a horse is consistent. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. If they're consistent, and they consistently get it done. Head shaking, shaking yes. good back end, no hitching, timed up well. And there was several in there. Yeah, and I mean, the thing of it is you just can't make one, two good passes and, don't, you know, and get tied high. I mean, you got to be consistent the whole class to me. The whole show. The whole show, first way and second way. I mean, that's a nice horse. He sets a good seat, too. Yes. I have to give him credit. Well, you know, like he's he come from both sides of his family. He's yep. a good horseman. His dad, his granddad, you know. Everybody was involved. Involved, that's right. His girlfriend can plant ride. Yes, too. that's right. His sister, I mean all of them. His mom, all of them. I mean he got a good pedigree. <laughs> yeah. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> He got a good pedigree. He got a good pedigree on him. You get him if he had papers, you look at his papers, he got a pretty good pedigree on that. Well, there he is. Yeah. That's a nice horse. I thought he did real well. Real good. I can understand why John said this is the horse didn't get what he deserved. <laughs> so. And Lake is a real good showman. Yes, he is. I mean, he can, yes, he he can show a horse. I like him because he's timed up. Yeah. Timed up just right. I like that name too. Classic Rock. Get her done, big boy. You know, Get her done. Not take my health because he's one of the young trainers that's coming up in this world here. Yeah. You know, he is. That's doing a real good job. That whole crew where he's at over there. Is they all much, work hard. They work hard. They're really some hard working people. They do work hard. All right, now we're gonna start on some good stuff. We're gonna start on some paying tribute to people who have advertised with us through the years. And uh, I just want y'all to know, I am truly thankful. Uh, 
I, I thought this was going to be my last show, but next week we'll. And then after that, you're going to be sitting here by yourself. <laughs> or if someone comes up with someone to take my place, they may be sitting here. Yeah. But uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. But let's go to uh, and watch some of Shane Porterfield's horses because he's got some good ones. Shane got some real good horses now. I think Shane's a good guy. I mean, every time you see him, he's there with a smile on his face, always greets you. You know, he's he's one of a kind. He's another one, like to share his horses with other people to ride, like to watch other yep. people show his horses and stuff. I mean, he likes to watch them horses. He just likes to watch them horses, that's right. I'm gonna say this year coming up, you'll see Shane a lot more in the show ring and showing a bunch. I'd like to see him a lot more in the show ring. I really would. Shane yeah. rides good. Shane, yeah. Does a good job. He's one of these ones that's dedicated to this horse business too. And been in it for a, good, for a long time. That's a good horse right there now. Tanner does a good job with that horse. <coughs> Shane's always got a positive attitude. Oh, yeah. And I see him been touching a little bit in that racking horse business, too, you know? So, I mean, he's, he's versatile in different horses. He's getting involved. Yeah. That's for sure. Out there is a good trainer. Oh, Tanner, yeah. He does, Tanner he does, does a good, good job. job. I mean, he's, he got a bunch of good ones. He's a good per, a good person for this business. Another good young trainer that's coming up yeah. in his industry. He and his brother too. Yeah. Always something right, positive to talk about in the Walk North Indy. That's right. You know, I would, want, I would like to see a future. You go back to what we was talking about earlier. That's a future for these young men that are coming up in this business right here. It is. You know, they, one day they might be the Jimmy McCollum that's, that's in this business. Boy, those be some shoes to feel. That's what I'm saying, but I mean, that's another good horse, Shane, got that Joe Paul. Paul. Well, I believe he's one with every trainer he's ever had. Oh yeah, you're exactly right. That's a world grand champion racking horse that he got, Shane. Real nice horse. Oh, yeah. Well, they showed him in walking and racking. Yeah. All right. Here's one of you buddies. Now, you did an interview with this guy. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but now you can always look out there, and when he comes around, he's got that smile on his face. He love it. He he, he love it to death. He, he drives got... to be in the ring. Yep. Be my baby. Robert Dorch. Our amateur five-year-old. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I mean, time after time, you've been seeing Robert with a whole bunch of just, just great horses. But he keeps going out and finding them. Yeah. He'll show them for a while, and then he'll sell them. That was a real good man right there. Oh, Lord, yeah. That man there won a bunch, and Robert done a good job with that, a showing her. I don't know if he can figure it out, but I would love to see how many blue ribbons Robert do have in his lifetime, how many he won. It'll oh be a Lord. bunch. There is no telling how many blues that man has won. Yeah. Easily over 100. Oh, I would say so. I mean, he's he got the, he got the good horses now. Let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen, a blue ribbon ride in our owner amateur park. 
I'm say Ted who? Yeah. That's Ted who. Robert Deutscher and Roland Entry of Greensboro, North Carolina, and Belvedere and McMinnville. And Robert is, is a guy that sell, is shared a whip with different trainers. He got horses with different people. He sure does. He's gonna put them in that way he thinks the train do his best with. I believe that Memphis Blues is standing down at uh, Chicken Creek right now. Okay. Well, yeah, you can look from time after time. I mean, you have videos of him. Oh, Lord. I love that old right <clears throat> there. That's a good horse. He made a lot of good trips around that show ring right there on horses. Tell me about it. We've done victory passes for him at the celebration. Oh Lord, going way back. Robert liked them good young horses too. I know. He, he, he got he, some young yeah, ones. He got some some good young ones out there. Two year old, three yeah. year olds. He's getting her done. Let's see who else we got. Now here here's a gentleman that uh, I really thought a lot of. Yes. I mean he he's just a, to me he was very special. He's a super good guy. He's no longer with us, but his horses still are. Yes. And Harold Roberts was one of the best. All about that Jose wears the blue in our amateur 50 and over class tonight. Harold he was Roberts another guy that used to like to show a lot. Oh, we have fun, yeah. Van Buren, Missouri. All about that Jose with Harold Roberts riding down victory lane tonight. He enjoyed the horses. That's an unforgettable moment. That's, that, I'm going to tell you, that was a very talented, talented horse right there. Oh, Lord, Jim the win. Still is. He is. I mean, he's going. Hey. Tell you what, she can ride. Oh, yeah. Ride. She's a good rider. Harold tickled me one time. He said, you seem a little bad. <laughs> he liked he like that sideline now. And you know, when you catch a person that got padded horses and flat shod and show pleasure, I mean, you know, he's a, he like all different. He loved the horse. Oh, he likes horses. He likes horses. <laughs> That's why I thought this horse here won. The performance and yeah. the show pleasure, yeah. and then sure come did. back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he sure did. It's a great horse. That is a good horse. Can't keep a good horse down. Nope, you can't. I'm going to say Harold's up there in heaven looking down, smiling, and every time the horse go around, make a blue ribbon ride. Well, he's probably riding them. Yep. Kendra's just like him, though. She likes to show flat shot and perform. Yeah. She just likes to get the show ring. I don't blame her. If I had the horses, I would too. You know, he, he's a very missed guy in this industry. But I say he probably having a heck of a horse show up there in heaven. Oh, Lord, yeah. With all the ones up there with him. A bunch of good ones up there, that's for sure. Come out walking and shaking. Tell me about it. I yep. love to, I could sit and watch them all mm -hmm. day long. I mean, I really could. Now, here's my buddy. Now, he, this one right here, he likes them walking. He likes them racking. 
He just likes them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He don't care what they're oh, doing. Oh, he likes them. As, as long as he can sit there and watch them. And he's been known to get in the ring and show against his own horse in an open competition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Roy Wester. He didn't had a bunch of good, got a bunch of good horses and yes. had a bunch of good horses. This was a real good horse right here. Now he's, he Roy, he really, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's another good person for the industry. Yeah. Cadillac by Jazz. Only person I know that went in the ring against his own horse won first and second. <laughs> of course, his trainer won first, he yeah. was second. <coughs> That's one way of looking at it. Oh, yeah. That was a real good horse right there. Oh, that horse yeah. won a bunch of World Grand Championships. That's one arena we'll never go back to. Yeah. He got a real top trainer there too, Jamie. Jamie does a yeah, good you job. Can't beat Jamie. Jamie Lawrence making the way Cannot ride beat in Jamie the championship ride for Roy and Joe Wester at Top Cat LLC of Oakville, Alabama. Hey, Top Cat and Jamie Lawrence closing us out in championship style tonight. Top horse right there. He's another horse. Really That's like showing it. up there in heaven right now. I really like him, that's for sure. This one right here is super now. He's yeah. from Sebi. Se Se that horse ain't no fine. I'm gonna tell you, a real nice horse. At that show, that horse made two awesome shows over there. He sure did. I'm gonna tell you, he's, a, he's talented what he's doing right there. longer this horse goes, the bigger and better he gets. Yep. I mean, you'll see him start off one way, and by the time he make that curve, I mean, you see him, I mean, he just blows up all over. Oh, and he was going down that. Yeah. Uh, what, the east, east trail? Like yeah. He was going down in front of it. I was sitting over there. You can see him right there, and the more he yeah. goes, the bigger he get, and the more he caught back in that brow. He was getting her done. That's just, I mean, he's good. Oh, he's, he's a good horse. Good oh, he got now. some very good horses. He got some real good horses. Well, we could sit here and talk all day, but I guess if what we're going to have to do is do a commercial, and then we'll come back and show a few more horses. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now, this is the offspring. Now, Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, that, I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young. Um, but now, I tell you, got all got a lot of talent, that hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. Everyone deserves to live a full life. And with your help, Together, we can end hunger. Join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind. Or bring the crowd for some stargazing. Or stargazing. 
Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. We've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communications. All right. Tell you what, Jerry, uh, I've had some suggestions on who to take my seat, and uh, nobody's rung my bell yet. <laughs> so I wish to, but I am open. People can send suggestions in. Because yeah. I, I, I want somebody to sit here that can converse with you on horses. Yes. And support this industry. All right, let's go, and here's one that I really like. I be smoking. Oh, yeah. I be smoking. Flat shot, but buddy, he's tough. Juveniles, adults, ladies, <clears throat> men, young kids, all can ride him. I mean, he just all around horse in that pleasure class. Unreal, I can tell yeah. you that. Year after year, buddy. Grandpa I mean, rode him. That's why I say he rode him. Both him. boys rode him. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised. One day you might see Susie on, on well, riding. That's what I was wondering why she ain't rode him. When I go and take my clothes over there to her clean, I'm going to ask her one day, what? <laughs> when you going to say, why when you you show her smoke? That's you right. Go. But, um, but yeah, that's a nice horse, that. He just shake that head right on down that grill right there. Walk, got a lot of walk and shake to him. You talking about consistent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is what you call all day play. That's right. If I was gonna ride pleasure horse all day, that's the kind of horse I want to ride. Oh Lord, right yeah. There. They're just lucky Tanner and them, or let them borrow that. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. some, some kids would say, oh, I'd rather do it myself. But them boys are pretty good. All right. <clears throat> now we're going to go watch a lady. And I'm here to tell you now, this is one fine lady, buddy, because she can flat show a horse. Yes, she can. Carol Baxter is one of a kind, no doubt about it. I met her in uh, Alabama, and she's just a good person. Carol's a real nice person. I mean, I... We kind of have a lot of history go way back. My dad used to train horses for her dad. That's all right. Down in Louisiana. She's from Louisiana there. Miss Carol, she's always been a, a real super person to our family. That Jimmer's country girl is a piece of work, I'm telling you. Carol Baxter on the entry. Jimmer's country girl and Carol Baxter, congratulations. That's a, that's a nice mare. And that horse right there is a good horse. Josh and Dale does a real good job for them. Uh, the line 
And you know the biggest thing though, Jerry, they don't get to show a lot. I know. Because where they at down there, they don't have a lot of horse shows until they come up here. They have to go a long way yeah, to show horses. To show horses. Well, that's what Carol said when we interviewed her, that it was, they just had to go take such long trips to show. And that's something I wish that these shows uh, picked back up in these other different states like they used to be a long time ago. Well, maybe after we get this lawsuit and the HPA yeah. looked at, we'll be able to start having more shows in different parts of the country because we can use the shows, the charities can use the funding. Carol, now her, her husband's her biggest cheerleader now. Yeah, he loves know, yeah. watching her show. You better watching her get with it. Yes. I'll tell you what, she's a good jockey. Oh, too. she is a real good jockey. She can ride. Oh, I like that hole. Oh, yeah. I like both of them. Country girl is a good one. Oh, yeah. She's a no coming around that rail with a big smile on the face. Oh, yeah. Well, she knows when them horses are looking. Oh, good, yeah. Mm -hmm. The way they feel so she can keep on. All right, uh, where are we at now? With the, oh, here we go. <laughs> this, this is my man now. He's got the same name. Yeah, that's right. Jerry's going to be a special name one of these days. That's going to be a... Jerry Myatt. <laughs> now, he's a pistol. Yeah. There's Jason. Knock down, drag out. Jerry got some, a bunch of good horses too. Oh yeah, as I am in Jason Mike. Jerry Mike, thank you. I wish them a lot of luck with their boy they open up over there. I do too. I wish them a lot of luck. I'm glad to see a new boy starting somewhere. Jason Myatt, riding with a four year old. That was a good young drinker. Yeah. Our older amateur division. Congratulations. From a fellow of 15, they have a big win tonight. Jason Myatt taking the winning ride for Gary and Jason Myatt of Shelbyville, Tennessee. Good horse. Jason, that's where he hardly shows at all. Yeah. I am at Jason Myatt. A winning ride and a world grand championship ride here. Jason Myatt is in the iron to make the winning ride for Jerry and Jason Myatt of Shelbyville, Tennessee, and Albuquerque, Kentucky. That horse won a ton of blue ribbons. Oh, tell me about it. They're still winning. Yeah. Oh, let's take a look at record high. Record high. Yeah. Now that is Miss Becky Mike. Mm -hmm. Record high, Becky Mike. I tell you, every time you see Jerry around, I mean, he always, he's another guy that's that love this horse business, always speak to you, talk to you, anyway. He's good for the industry. Yeah, he's good he's for real the good for the industry. Jason I don't think anybody would ever disagree with that. Congratulations. Make is a good rider. Yeah. She, well, she's really, showing some she, good horses, she can, too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. She really is. Well, now we're going to go down in age. Mm -hmm. I got to, because we, we couldn't do this unless I went and got a, 
a young man that we've got him to ride horses, we've got him to do commercials, we've got him, what else we got him to do? All different kind of stuff. And he, he's always ready, <laughs> always, always willing yeah. to help, mm -hmm. never backs up, he just says, let's go do it. Let's go and watch the medalist in Eli Cunningham. Well, I thought we was. We are. Mm -hmm. But I skipped one. <laughs> I was in too big a hurry to get to the medalist. Even now, I tell you, this horse here is, is a nice horse. His granddad is, is a super guy. We always pick at each other back and forth oh, all the time. But I mean, I. I wouldn't trade him for nothing in the world now. He's a, a good guy. Oh, Mr. Eli, Wilson. I'm going to tell you what, Eli, Eli showed well. Oh. He's won that North Carolina thing, I think, three years in a oh, row. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Little man with a big heart. Oh, yeah. Big horse, but he's got a big heart, and he can get it done. Oh, that's a nice horse. Real oh, nice horse. I tell you what, it tickles me to see a kid that loves to show that much. Yes. Yeah. Because they really like to get into it. Oh yeah, they really like it. And the kids, they, they love it, you know. He does a great job. Oh, he now. does a good he job. That's the saddle. He rides that horse. He don't back up an inch. No. Real good horse. That's the third year in a row that they've won that show. I believe so. Mm -hmm. Better make sure they're right, because grandmother show get on to you. Well, if I've if I got more, she won't. If I less, she yeah. Might. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> but I think she's I'm a right. nice lady, too. I'm I tell you. I'm pretty sure I'm right. She's. Pretty sure that whole right. family is a good family. Yes, they are. A real good family. Hard to beat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are right about that. Hard to beat. Now I got to back up. Mm-hmm. This lady knew I did this, and she's fixing to find out. But uh, I was just in too big a hurry to show. <laughs> I like watching him ride. But I like to watch this lady ride, too, because Kimberly Walden is just a good jockey. Uh, yes. No matter what. She does a great job. And she's another one that shares those She horses. does now. She's... From performance to pleasure to muse to all about. Shares she them all. Yep. There's Perry, he's always in there too. Mm hmm. <coughs> I mean, that's. I got some good horses too. I just, <clears throat> Kimberly, she always been real big in this industry. She gets involved now. Yeah, she does. She you gets, got one worth looking at. She'll flat come look yeah. at. Yeah. I'm just glad. I'm just happy for the supporters that had at this horse show, at the shows, and this for everything that they do. Get involved. Yep. I like that horse. Pop in their room. 
Kimberly, she likes the show. Now, I didn't see her show at one show in Alabama and then turn around the next day, she back up here showing the next day at some other show around here somewhere. That's right. She, mm -hmm. she makes the rounds, there's yes. no doubt about that. All our horses make it look like it's so easy. I know. They're good horses. Yes, they are. The walking horses, if you're good ones, all you good ones are easy yeah. to ride. Mm -hmm. I'll take another look at Brown. Fight with them, you don't have. That's much, you are right. You don't have much of a horse. And that right there is a great yeah, one. Yeah, that is a good one. Never been kissed. That was a good horse. Mm -hmm. Now, we got we got the, the love. <laughs> <laughs> when he sent me that, I said, "What is it? What what could that be?" And then, uh, what was the, but I thought that's pretty good. She called you the love doctor, huh? Kenny, he was he's something else now. He's a, a guy that always got a lot of jokes and he always. Well, he's, I'm going to tell you what now. He is one heck of a judge. He is a super judge. I mean, I tell you, he is. He's one, of, he's one of the ones that tie what he likes and does it the right way. If you like it, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine that's, too. That's right. I mean, him and Dahlia does a good job with them horses. There you <clears throat> I've been watching her ever since she was real young, showing them horse in the juvenile class and all that stuff. I mean, I'm going to tell you, she's a super rider. Oh, she's always been good at it. She's always set a good seat. Yeah. Make great shows. Hard to beat that. Very hard to beat. And I can tell you, you can't hold it. You can hold it. Tell you, these horses professional trained or trained by them because they, I mean, they some good trainers. I mean, they work horses. They do a good job. They do a good they job do a on their own. Good job. You get her done. That's what it's all about. Yeah, I remember they used to bring horses up there from their house, and I mean, win a lot. And a good vet. That's what I hear. I hear she's super. Good she vet. is. Yeah, she's she's a good vet. You might be wanting her to move down here. We're fixing to lose a real yep. good one. There's a paddock master. Mm -hmm. Come up with some good horses and some real good names. Oh yeah, they for do. Horses that fit them. Mm -hmm. It really does. I got that picture of the paddock master. I got it up there in my office. But it's thoroughbred. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got to do your thing now. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, this is your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. All righty. All right. Now we're, we're fixing to go watch a current world champion, world grand champion, uh, little man that can flat ride. Oh, yeah. But there are some others that we're going to do. <laughs> Three year old stay in the Ryder Cup. Walk the line. I like it, name. Mm -hmm. And Clay Sanderson for Justin Harney. I tell you, Clay does a real good job on them horses, too. He does. He does you a real good job. Well, him and Lake and... They got a good team yeah, out they, there now. Mm -hmm. Vince. They work well together? Yeah. And Nathan. Nathan <laughs> is a big part of that, too. Justin on Just, Walk the Line. Yeah. He says, I got to do that too. Justin they've had, really they've right had a good year. Yeah. They really have. They've had a real good year. <clears throat> Justin always rides a good, have a bunch of good horses, ride a bunch of good horses. Yep. Well, he's got a good eye. Yeah. Well, he's been raised up in it. Yep. I mean, there's another thing. He's been raised up as a kid. Now, here's the ultimate honor in Jack Harney. That's another one. We're talking about pedigree. He got a pretty good pedigree, too. That's right. He got a real good pedigree. On top and bottom. <laughs> uh, he, he, was, uh, he was getting it done. Everybody was talking about him and that horse. Oh, yeah. Championship. Real good horse. Nice, real nice. I tell you what, when you got a good one. Just, oh yeah, that gets it all together, especially with a little guy like that. He's right. on that horse and he going right. around that ring. You know, I'm gonna tell you, that's that means a lot. I mean a lot. That means a tremendous amount. You don't want to, you don't want to back up. You don't want to change it. You want to keep going right. It's where the you're horse at. and the trainer and all that's together. I mean to help that. Oh yeah. Now our last horse is one that I really like. And. Uh, the Waggermans do too. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes it. That's your four-year-old, Koufax. 
play his Picard. I tell you, when you see this horse in the ring, I mean, he stands out. He just that presence he right. have of himself. He grabs your attention when yeah. he comes in, and he keeps it. He just uh, he's timed up good. Blaze yeah. has done a tremendous job with this yeah. horse. I tell you, Blaze is a hard working person. I mean, you go with that boy, and she's she's hustling. Has, she's huh? hustling. Well, I can tell you, this one right here is a bright future for this horse. Yes. Your this was the open tender club. Mm -hmm. so, already got him doing that. This state class for this year coming up will be a big, will be a good Oh man. One. Bunch of new horses, different horses. They're going to be watching everything these horses do. Yeah. I just hope they watch and make sure their head shape, timed up, and everything is perfect. Yeah. And name the appropriate winner. That's right. Is that right there. She keeps doing that right there. I'm going to tell you, yes, sir. Hey. I hope Blaze does real good in this thing. She can add to that other ladies, that top lady trainer. Well, I believe, there. and I've said it in the past, I believe she'll be the next woman that wears the World yeah. Green Championship mm -hmm. green jacket. I really do. She, she's got the horses to do it with, and she's got the ability. Yep. She's got the showmanship. And that right there might be the one she does it with. You're right. Let get it done. He can get it done now. He's good. That's all that matters. Yep. That's all that matters is coming in there and performing to the top of your level and letting her rip. All right. Everybody had a good Christmas. Now we're getting ready for New Year's. New Year's, yeah. I'm going to behave myself. I'm not going to do like I have in the past. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go home and take some more meds and see if I can't knock out this sinus infection. It's about to drive me nuts. All of I wish I'd just take it and say, here, you can have it. No, no you well, keep it to yourself. After you, you, that, you, you, what everybody you, said, keep it to yourself. You keep it to I, yourself. I have, I've kept it to Good. myself. Yeah. Well, if anybody's got any ideas about who can sit here, I'm open. Because I'm, I'm good at taking suggestions. Now, that yeah. I can do. <laughs> but I guess until next week, after the first... There's a whole lot going on. Yes. Next week, I think we're going to show the best of all time, uh -huh. which was Drew McCormick's idea. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to try to do. The best of the best will be next week. Yep. So you want to tell everybody bye? Well, yeah, have a good New Year's and stuff like that, and be safe, and don't drink and drive. That's a fact. Call somebody. That's have right. a good weekend. <laughs> Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. I got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.